Next question is from Fulvio the Castle. Does pain tolerance improve along with strength training? I think your your ability to uh, disseminate uh, good and bad pain right. it, it totally improves when you I start to work out. I think that's really what it is. is yeah. you, you understand better like what these uh, signals are. Like so, if it, there's a burn, you know you don't you don't freak out. Like if there's you know a soreness and achiness, like you can identify that this mm -hmm. was a result of you know something you did with the workout versus like you know a really sharp like lightning type of response of pain that was uh you know something you should really pay attention to yeah, i guess i would ask what kind of pain tolerance are we talking about i mean are, is it muscle soreness pain or acute pain like what kind of pain are you, are you i would say the pain that comes from exercise your mm. tolerance goes up like think about when you would get a new yeah. client like pain from a breakup you know? yeah <laughs> i mean helps with that too does it really or does your body just adapt and so the same things the same things that offended it before don't offend it well as no much? because you work yourself out harder like i i would bet you that you do sets you you do sets as you became more advanced that were way more painful than when you were sure, a beginner. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So you know when you train a new client, ever happened to you where you train a new client and they're doing an exercise and they never lifted weights or worked out before. Yeah. And then they burn a little bit yeah. and they like ah. they, it's like, oh my God, what is this? Yeah, I yeah. can't even yeah, tolerate it. I've had this. clients drop weights before. Yeah. So like, have I. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was burning my biceps. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. I had this experience with my with my daughter. So my daughter, she's only eleven. So occasionally I'll do a workout with her. And I remember we did some leg exercises for the first time. And it's really hard to gauge if I'm going too hard or not hard enough. And so, you know, the first workout, I might get her sore, right? And I remember the next day she wakes up and she's calling me from her room for school. Bah, bah. So I walk in there. I'm like, what's the matter, honey? She's like, I, I hurt my leg. I'm like, oh, shit, what happened? Where does it hurt? And she's like pointing to her quads. She's like, I'm, I'm injured. And so I'm like moving around. I'm like, no, honey, you're sore. Mm -hmm. Like you don't know what it feels like yeah, yeah. to have this kind of soreness. So I think it's really it's, it's about how you perceive it, what it feels like. Because I could now, because I've been working out for so long, I can tolerate you know burn. I can tolerate the pain from working out. Mm -hmm. I know the difference between the good kind of pain when I work out, the bad kind of pain. But if you don't train, it's, it's all just pain. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's really hard for you to kind of, you know. I, I also would caution somebody, though, here, too, because, you know, you, you don't have to go through so much pain either to to train and get the body to adapt. Right, yeah. I, and that was a mistake that, you know, I had that you no know, pain, no gain uh, mentality as a, as a young. And the more pain, the better. Yeah, yeah. and then I was seeking the, that soreness, or oh, it's so, and we talk about how great it is to feel that way, and so you are chasing that for a long period. Where I'm the opposite now. I'll mm -hmm. start training, and I feel like, ooh, yeah, that's, I'm, I'm there, you know, mm -hmm. like that, that's, a, if I do another set, I'm going to be more sore than I ever need. I can tell yeah. in a workout. So I, I'm not like pushing through pain and going like, oh, no. five more sets. Like you actually don't need to train no. this way. I think you're that's thinking about net tomorrow. Yeah. Like, like what's going to happen tomorrow? Can I replicate what I'm doing today mm -hmm. tomorrow? And it, I try and keep that in mind now all the time when I'm working out and it's so much more effective and my body will adapt and change and get all those desired results, you know, much quicker that way and i'm not just like putting myself you know under the gun and then now i have to heal from what i just did yeah as a trainer i changed my vernacular when i would talk to clients i stopped using the word pain i would use discomfort i'd mm -hmm. say you know we want you definitely going to feel discomfort yeah. exercising and stretching and doing things because that discomfort is gets what gets your body to adapt that's right but i wouldn't use pain because again if you don't know like you know we work out all, you know, for, for years, we know like the right amount of pain. You say pain to the average person, especially the message, no pain, no gain. Right. And you get the super motivated, like, I just want to lose weight tomorrow person. They're going to go hard for the pain, way too much. And you only need to be in that discomfort for a, a short minute. Yeah. You don't need to keep pushing beyond that. Like mm -hmm. that. So, you know, you changing the vernacular or whatever. I mean, when you get to that point where you feel it from that workout, like, you're probably pretty close to done doing five, six more sets or another exercise. I mean, that's the overreaching part that I, right. I think I made that mistake for many years. Yeah, is it is it is it more discomfort than you're used to, right? So if you yeah. sit on your couch all day long, 10 sets of body weight squats, like we're probably going to get your muscles to change a little bit. If you work out all the time, five days a week and you lift weights, well, there's a whole different level of discomfort that you that's probably right. have to have to achieve in order to get your body to change.